Now I'm making this video for people that have been duped by, pa by pastors and to be duped by false prophets. Ten reasons, my friend, we allow people to prophesy a lie in our lives. Ten reasons why we allow people to prophesy a lie, prophesy a lie in our life. Yes, my friend, people are prophesy lying, prophesying, prophesy lying in our lives. And we got to be bold enough and say, excuse me, no, I didn't hear God. Excuse me, it's not for me. I didn't hear God. See, God is a two-way radio. God is not a one-way radio. If God speak to me, God will speak to you. God don't speak to you, don't speak to me. Hey, glory to God. But God speak on a two-way radio. He don't speak on a one-way radio. And that's why people are duped and destroyed because we let people prophesy lie in our lives. That prophet taking your money and it ain't funny. He taking your he taking your wife and it ain't funny. He taking your husband, it ain't funny. He taking your little girls, it ain't funny. But ten reasons why we let people prophesy lies in our life. My friend, we're dealing in a dangerous time where people are prophesy lying rather than prophesying. Prophesying is what God said. Prophet lying is what your thought. You went to you went to a bed, uh, eating pizza, eating cabbage, or eating all these things, and you went to have a dream, and the dream is not of God. It because you overeat last night. So prophet lying rather than prophesying. And number one reason we are trash can for for Satan messengers, the false prophet. Yes, we become trash can. We we become a person that the devil dumped junk into our trunk. Yes, my friend, we let people profit lie in our life, rather than tell them no, that's not of God. God ain't God ain't spoke to me. God spoke to you. God didn't speak to me. And we got we gotta be so bold, my friend. Don't be afraid to confront them. Don't be afraid to call them out. Number two, we don't, we don't, we don't treasure prophecy. We don't read the, the book of Revelation. It's only 22 chapters in our life. 